Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. Um, it is Sunday morning. All my Sunday mornings look pretty much the same. I literally get up and make my bed, as you can see. If you've never tried to make your bed every morning, try it for a week. The productivity that comes along with it. Listen, it's just a game changer. Trust me, try it. And then I get dressed for the gym. As you can see, I am dressed and ready. And then we... Are gonna go to the gym and hit glutes um i love sundays because for one i love hitting glutes um but for two i go to the grocery store and get food for the week meal prep plan um i clean do laundry it's just a good refresh restart for me so i'll see you when we get to the gym to hit glutes All right guys, so I really just recorded the entire lift. And I'm gonna make a voiceover so you know exactly what to do. As you can see here, we started on cardio. We did 25 minutes at a speed three and an incline eight. Um, just walking, getting our heart rates up, getting our bodies warm. And then we're gonna transition into hip adductors and abductors for glute activation. Learning how to properly activate your glutes before a glute workout is so important. It's basically just telling your body like, hey, these are the muscles I'm gonna be working so then your other muscles don't take over in the workout. So as you can see here, I speed it up. We did four sets of 10 to 12 on both machines before going downstairs and moving into squats. So here you can see I have 95 pounds on the bar. Um, right here we did two sets of 12, kind of just to warm up. And then throughout the workout, we go ahead and add weight, do two sets of 10, two sets of eight, two sets of six and two sets of three. I'm not gonna show you all of the reps because well, you would probably get bored. So this is how we started our um, leg lift. Make sure your feet are wide in a sumo position and you're hitting parallel on every squat. So next up, we are on the glute kickback machine. I literally love this machine. It targets your glute muscles so good. Um, this could also be switched out for cable kickbacks or banded kickbacks if your gym does not have this machine. We did four sets of 10 to 12 on each side, really just taking your time and squeezing those glutes at the top. All right, next up, we are moving into hamstring raises on the ghd listen these are so hard they are so much here watch me fall i couldn't get back up these are so much harder than regular hamstring curls because they really focus on the eccentric part of the lift um if you've never tried these before i highly suggest them the goal is just keeping your back nice and tight and pulling back all from that hamstring muscle i promise you will feel them we did four sets of eight on these one thing that I wish I would have realized is how important targeting your hamstrings are when you're trying to build a booty. Literally, your glute muscles and your hamstrings are partners in crime. In order to build the butt you want, you have to target your hamstrings. So as you can see here, we moved right into straight leg dumbbell deadlift, taking the weights down, keeping them close to your body, and squeezing your glutes every time you raise up. We did four sets of 10 to 12 here before moving on to the next exercise. So the last two exercises we do before moving upstairs is a sumo landmine deadlift and a sumo landmine squat. This is actually a super hard combination. Um, we did three sets of 10 to 12 reps of each exercise. Again, really targeting those glutes. Um, as you can see here, I'm deadlifting, then I wipe my hands off and switch into a sumo squat holding it like a goblet here, making sure my feet are nice and wide and making sure I'm hitting parallel. So we moved upstairs and this is the last exercise we do before our burnout. We are just doing a sumo leg press, four sets of 10 to 12, getting nice and deep, finishing out those legs. And now time for our burnout. These absolutely suck. Bulgarian split squat jumps. 
We actually just did five on each leg because as you can see, I'm on the struggle bus. We did this three times through and then went to the back and stretched it out. And to end our leg day, we go to the back and stretch it out. There's no better feeling, honestly, than stretching out at the end of a hard leg day. It reduces the accumulation of lactic acid in the body. It relaxes your tense muscles. And honestly, it always just helps me get into a good mental headspace when my workout is over. Um, so usually, depending on how much time I have, I'll spend five to 10 minutes stretching it out before I head out of the gym. I made it home from the gym. I started my laundry, took a shower. I'm gonna sit down now with my computer, edit the video, put the leg day together for y'all. If you enjoyed this video, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up so I can make more content like this for you guys. And other than that, have a great productive Sunday and I will see you later this week on the YouTube channel. Bye guys.